Welcome to another video in the data migration playlist. In the last video, I showed you a full demo on how to upload the GL account master data to SAP using the data migration cockpit on SAP s We saw together how we can create a migration project, add a migration object, download the Excel template, fill the template, and then upload it to the system. In the video today, I will show you how we can configure the data migration cockpit. We can do this using a transaction that's called the data migration modeler. We can open this transaction using SAP GUI. The transaction code is LTMOM. So today I will show you a demo on SAP s hana for the transaction LTMOM. We will see how we can change the layout of the Excel upload template. And also I will explain what is the source structure, target structure, and field mapping. I hope you enjoy watching this video and you find it useful as the other videos. Let's go. I will start directly with the demo and then explain everything in the process. So here I have my SAP Fury and I will open the data migration cockpit so we can see the migration project that we created in the last video. Here is our migration project. So I will open it. And inside the project, we have added multiple migration objects. So we have the bank master data, the cost centers, profit centers, and so on. And in the last video, we did a migration of the FIGL account. So here we have migration completed. Now I will switch to SAP GUI and show you how we can control the configuration of this migration object and of this migration project. Here I have my SAP GUI and the transaction code I will use is LTMOM. So this is legacy transfer migration object modeler. Here we can choose our migration project. So let me open this a little and then to choose a migration project, we can click here and this will open the search window. And then if I click on OK, I can insert some search criteria or just click on OK. So here I have the different projects and the different objects inside them. And for my project, it is migration demo of AG00. And here I have the different objects. So I will choose if I GL account. So double click here. Now let's go through the details in this screen. So first, when we choose the migration object here, so if I GL account, on the right side, we can see the definition. So first here we have generated, which means that this is an active object and we can use it in our migration project. If the object is not active, then here we will have not generated and a red sign. And in order to generate it, we must click on this icon. And this happens if we do any changes to the migration object. I will show you this after. And then here we have the type. So this is a template migration object. Approach is a migrate, migrate data using a staging table. I already explained this in the last video. And then here we have some other details. Now I will go through the source structure, target structure, mapping, and field mapping. So first let's go to source structures. The source structure is what we use to feed the data into the system. And we are using data upload with an Excel template. So the source structure is our Excel template. This is why if we want to change anything in the Excel template that we use in the upload, we will change this in the source structures, and then it will be reflected in the Excel template. So for example, if you look here on the left side, we have the source structures. So we have SC General, Controlling Area, Company, Text, and Keywords. And if I open the Excel template that we used in the upload in the last video, so this was the template that we used. And here, if you check the sheets of the Excel book, you will find that we have the general data, controlling area data, company code data, account names, and keywords. So the same five source structures that we have here in the migration cockpit. One, two, three, four, five. So anything we change in the source structures, and then after we save and generate the object, will be reflected in the Excel template. So for example, let's see if we can add a field in the general structure here. So if we go here to the Excel template and general data, we only have these fields. So let's say I will add another field that uh, that's a customized field that we added for our client that doesn't exist in the standard system. So in this case, I will switch here to change. And now I can add new fields or remove the existing ones. But since this is a standard migration object, so this is the migration object of GL account master data that was created by SAP, we cannot touch any of the standard fields. So if I try to remove a standard field, for example, the GL account type, so I select the line and click on delete, I will get an error that only the customer fields can be deleted. So we can add our own customized fields and we can then remove them if we want, but we cannot touch the standard ones. If we want to completely change the migration object, so remove some fields and add others, then in this case, we can create our own migration object as a copy from this one, and we can do whatever we want. But since this is the standard migration object for GL account master data, we cannot touch any of the standard fields. Now I will add my own customized fields. So I will click here. 
And then let's call this field, for example, test. So ZZ test character. So the format of the data in the field will be characters. 80, so this is the field length. It can accept up to 80 digits. And then here I will give it a label, for example, AG test field. And we will see this in the Excel template. And then here, test fields. So now I added my own field and it has been marked as a custom field by default. Now, if I save, and generate. So now once I saved, you see here we have a red icon and it says not generated. So this cannot be used in the migration project. Now I will generate the object. And let's switch back to the migration cockpit and download the new template. So here I have my migration objects, FIJ account. Then here I will click on download template. Now I will open this new template in Excel. And now if I go to general data, here you can see our new field. So we have a group called test fields and we have the AG test field. So then we have added a new field to our Excel template, but this field doesn't have any use so far. So any demo you find online for how to use LTMOM will show you how to add this test field. But now we added a field to our source structure. So this is a way that we feed data to the system. Now, what is SAP supposed to do with this field? Nothing. So far we only added a field in our source structure but we didn't map it to any destination field in the system. So if even if we put data in this field, it will do nothing in SAP. So we have to continue our process in order to map this field to a destination field in SAP or a target field. This way SAP will take the value that we add here and it will save it somewhere in the system. So now let's go back to LTMOM. So now we understand what are these source structures. So these are mapped to the Excel sheets in our Excel book. And then inside each structure, we can see the different fields available and the details of every field. So here, for example, we have the field, if whether it is a key field or not, the field name, data type, length, and so on. If you want to learn more details about this transaction and about these values, you can always check the information icon here. This is very useful. It is very detailed and it has a lot of examples. I have learned a lot of things reading this help documentation. So you have to check it. And then inside here, we have, you have different details for everything. So for the source structures, for example, you can click here. And we have a lot of details explaining what are the source structures and how they work. Now let's move on to the second menu here. So source structures, then we have target structures. So source structures is how we feed data into the system. Target structure is where the data will be saved in the system. So these are our staging tables. If you remember in the last demo, we said that we are going to do data migration using staging tables. So there are some tables that are created in SAP where we are, go are going to upload the data using our Excel sheet. And then SAP will take the data from the staging tables and update the system records. So here we have the different target structures. And as you see, these are mapped exactly to the source structures. This is how the standard migration object is configured. So now here we have header, which is mapped to general. And then we have chart of account, account names, keywords, company codes, and controlling areas. So these are the five structures, the five target structures that are mapped to the five source structures. We cannot see the mapping here. We will do it later in the structure mapping. So if I open any of them, here, for example, we have three substructures. So we have key, data, and info. If you open key, it will include the key fields. And then data will include the data fields and info will include the info fields. So this is the standard configuration of the GL account master data migration object. Now let's move to the structure mapping. Here we are going to map the target structures to the source structures. So in the left side, we have target structures. On the right side, we have the source. And then to map, all we need to do is to drag the line from the source structure, for example, and add it here somewhere in the target structures. The mapping is already done, so I will not do this here. So for example, you see that the header is mapped to S general. So here we have these two arrows and then S general. So this means that header is mapped to S general and we can edit, we can delete the structure relations or edit them. But of course, this is a standard migration object. So we cannot do anything here. We can only watch and learn. And then here we have the account, chart of account is mapped to general also. We have the account names is mapped to S SKA1 text. And then we have the keywords is mapped to S underscore keywords. We have the company is mapped to S underscore company and, and so on. So this is the mapping of the target structures to the source structures. After we do this mapping, we in the next step, we will do the mapping of the fields. So we map field by field. For now, we only map the structures and then we move to field mapping. 
and here we will map the fields inside the source structure to the fields inside the target structure so here we have the different fields and for every field so this is the field name in the target structure gl account type and this is the field that was mapped from the source structure so here we have gl account type and this is the name of the field and also to do the mapping all we need to do is to drag the field from here from the source structure and put it somewhere next to a field in the target structure for example if i want the test field that we added in the source structure to have any meaning then i have to map it to a target field here so here we have our zz test field on the right side of the screen under the sgenerals general source structure so i will take it and i will map it to any field that is also mapped to the sgenerals general structure so the two structures must be must be mapped together before we can map the fields so here i have this structure our data 0002 which is mapped to S general, so I can map this field here and I will map it to X bilk, for example. So here it is giving me a warning that this field XBILK has a length of 1, while my other source field ZZ test has a length of 80. Is this okay for me? I can say yes. Of course, we should always take this warning seriously, but this is just an example. And now, as you see, ZZ test is marked as green, and here also XBILK is marked as green, and we can see that it has the rule move s general zz test to remove this rule i can right click here and then click on remove rule so now we are back to the red icon here and here so this was a very quick overview on the configuration of a standard migration object so now we understand the source structures and target structures and that we need to map the structures together and then map the fields i also wanted to record another video to show you how we can create our own migration objects from scratch but i don't have the needed access on the system to create staging tables and I don't have a real business requirement. So I will see if I can solve these issues somehow and record another video. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave me your comments and questions. Also let me know if you want me to add anything else to this playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Check the other videos in this playlist and also check the other playlists. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and I'll see you again soon.